In our previous sessions of quadrilaterals, we learned different types and basic properties like how sides and angles define a particular type of quadrilateral. Also in another session, we saw how Tom proved all the above properties of sides and angles related to a parallelogram. After that quiz contest, Tom got really inspired and started relating and applying mathematics in real life situations. One day while he was playing with Mikado sticks, he tried forming several combinations of quadrilaterals. And something that caught his attention was that the diagonals were affecting the shape of the quadrilaterals. Friends, all this while we identified the quadrilaterals by their sides and angles. But in today's session, we'll learn how to identify them by their diagonals. Can you recognize these quadrilaterals? The first one. What is it? You might have identified it by looking at the equal opposite sides and 90 degrees angles. But what about its diagonals? They look equal in length, don't they? Even though they are looking equal, but a proof is always needed to support this statement. Let's see how to prove it. So here we name this as A, B, C and D. The next step would be to select two triangles which will contain the two diagonals AC and BD. And the triangles could be any out of these four combinations. So here we take these two triangles which has two equal sides, one common side and two angles which are 90 degree. So by side angle side they are congruent. And therefore, the diagonals are also congruent, as they are the corresponding sides of congruent triangles. Wasn't that simple? We just need to follow three basic and simple steps. And in this way, we prove the diagonals of a rectangle are always equal. Now friends, here I add a twist. What if we are given a parallelogram with equal diagonals? Can you tell me when will a parallelogram become a rectangle? If we take two sticks of equal length and keep on trying so that it fits diagonally inside this parallelogram, will they fit? Yes, it will. Only when its angles form 90 degree, right? So exactly we have to prove that the angles of this parallelogram which has equal diagonals are 90 degree and therefore it's a rectangle. Again, we'll follow the three simple and basic steps. Let's take two triangles. Now, in these two triangles, we have two opposite equal sides, one common side, and here PR and QS are also equal. So, by side 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 criterion, triangles are congruent. Therefore, angles PSR and QRS are also congruent as they are the corresponding angles of congruent triangles. Are we done? No. We are yet to prove the angles are of 90 degree. If we notice, they are interior angles and we know that addition of interior angles of a parallelogram is 180 degree. That means each must be of 90 degree and thereby we proved that a parallelogram with equal diagonals will always be a rectangle. From now onwards, even if the information about the angles of a parallelogram are not given, we can identify a rectangle by knowing only the length of its diagonals. Now we will move on to the second shape. Yes, rhombus. Tell us what is the uniqueness about these diagonals? They are looking perpendicular, right? Diagonals of any rhombus, whether smaller or bigger, are always perpendicular bisector. But we cannot stop here. We'll have to show the proof to support our statement. And that's not difficult at all. Since it's a member of parallelogram family, its diagonals will bisect each other. That means we'll only have to show they bisect at right angles. Let's do the first step. Select the two triangles. Here the two triangles should be such that they form 90 degree at point E. 
So which two triangles will you choose? Again there are four options to choose two adjacent triangles. And here is the proof in simple lines. We take triangles AED and AEB because we have to show AE is perpendicular to BD. Now the second step. As we all know that we'll prove them congruent first. So in these two triangles AD is equal to AB. AE is the common side and DE is equal to EB which is the given part. So by SSS criterion triangles are congruent. Now the conclusion part. Angles of these two congruent triangles will also be equal and their addition must be 180 degree because they are supplementary angles which means each angle is of 90 degree. So it is not only bisector but a perpendicular bisector. After this proof, let me put a question before you. A square has angles of 90 degrees and its sides are also equal to each other. So what can you say about its diagonals? Diagonals of a square are equal as well as perpendicular bisector of each other. Because a square is a rectangle with equal sides and a rhombus with equal angles. So it will show both the properties of rectangle and rhombus. Okay, so we proved that diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular bisector. So if diagonals of any quadrilateral are perpendicular bisector, will it be a rhombus all the time? Or it may be some other shape as well. What do you think? Here is the proof of this statement, but it's not completed yet and it cannot be completed without you. So complete this proof by putting necessary things and write back to us in the comment box whether you found it simple or not. See you in the next session with Trapezium. If you have any doubt regarding this session or any other section of math, don't hesitate to ask us. Keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.